Now for this last part of the question then, we've got our equation for the height h and we're told that when t equals big T here, seconds, h is a maximum for the second time and we've got to find that value of t. Now in the previous part of the question, we saw that the maximum height h was controlled by the function sine of 0.25t because the sine function can only go between minus 1 and 1. And so we get that maximum when the sine of 0.25t is 1. Okay, So that's where we start. We have got the maximum height. Let's just put it down here. Uh, maximum height... OK, is when we have the sine of 0.25 t equaling 1. And so we've got to solve this equation, work out a series of values for t. We want the second solution in our series of values. So we just need to take the inverse sign then of both sides. So we're left with 0.25 t equals the inverse sine of 1. And we should be familiar with this result, the inverse sine of 1. If we just draw up the graph, you can see that the inverse sine of 1 is going to be pi upon 2. 90 degrees if you're working in degrees, but we have got to be working in radians here. Okay, So we need to take pi upon 2. So therefore we have 0.25t equals pi upon 2 radians. But that's going to be the first time when the uh, when we get the maximum height h. We want the next solution. Well that's going to be at this point here. And that's going to be another pi upon 2 further on from the 2 pi. So if you add 2 pi plus another pi upon 2, you're going to get that second peak there at 5 pi upon 2. So that's the time that we want, 5 pi upon 2 there. I say that's the time, that's not right. That's the solution that 0.25t would be. So we can see that when t equals big T, we can see that 0.25t, that's 0.25 times big T there, will equal 5 pi over 2. And if I multiply both sides by 4, you can see that I end up with t equals 5 pi upon 2 times by 4. That's going to give me the exact value of 10 pi. You might want to have this as a decimal. If you do this on your calculator, you'll find you get 31.415 and so on. And if we round that, say, to one decimal place, it's going to be 31.4 to 1 dp. I haven't put the units in here as seconds purely because we know that t was measured in seconds. OK, so we just need to quote the value of that. 31.4 then when it reaches its maximum height for the second time.